Hey guys, Alice Prince with Royal Page Signatures. So today I want to share with you some tips on how you can increase the value of your home and prepare for market in 28 days or less depending on how quick you want to work. guide click the link in my bio to download your free copy as a point of reference to have handy it'll be your little roadmap of what you can do over the next couple of weeks before you even meet with a realtor which will ultimately reduce your stress and keep you ahead of the curve let's face it preparing a home for sale is no small feat especially since you know we still have lives to live places to be and people to see so whether you're thinking of selling your home soon or down the line feel free to take these tips and battle them over the weekend or spread them out over the course of the month I'm sharing them with you so you can have them to serve as a guideline so you don't feel overwhelmed with the process and can go at your own pace while ensuring that the necessary things get accomplished. And when you're ready, I'll take care of the rest. So on day one, change your light bulbs and update light fixtures. It's easy to forget about all the bulbs that have burnt out over the years, but you want your home to be as bright as possible. Lighting makes an incredible difference in how um, your home looks to potential buyers. Also, don't forget to consider your outside lights as well. Check if any of them are flickering on and off. And if you have outdated light fixtures, take a quick trip over to Ikea or Home Depot and pick up some modern ones for an updated feel. This will make a substantial difference to the space. On day two, prepare the paperwork. Buyers and their agents are going to ask a ton of questions. So start digging out the paperwork now to get prepared, such as utility bills, tax bills, renovation details, warranties, mortgage details, surveys, um, and any other rental contracts, such as your water tank. On day three, get boxes and duct tape. A big part of the adventure that you're about to embark on involves reducing clutter. $100 or so will get you proper packing supplies and reduce your stress. Better yet, consider a company called Frogbox. They use reusable boxes that won't fall apart and they're also good for the environment. If you're going to be moving a lot of stuff or you wanna store bigger items, consider getting a pod, which is basically like um, a portable storage locker. You can fill it up at your home, it gets carted away, stored, and then it can get delivered to your new home when you move in. On day four, make an extra set of keys. So prospective buyers and their agents will need to access your home through keys in a lockbox. So you're gonna need an extra set. It's totally worth the $3 not to have to open that lockbox every time you wanna go into your home. Day five, tackle the closets and the storage areas. As much as I'd love to say that you can cram all your stuff you don't want on display into your closets, buyers will open those doors. They'll look in all the cupboards as well. And they'll decide if the closets and cupboards are functional or not, or just not big enough. Um, the last thing you want is for your buyers to think that there isn't enough storage space in your home. So take the time to pack away what you don't need in the immediate future. Day six, repair what you've been avoiding. We all have that list of repairs and fixes we don't wanna do, but should probably get done at some point. Now's the time to fix it. So it's including you know, things like leaky faucets, picture holes, etc., and get it all done once and for all. If you aren't handy yourself, feel free to reach out to me and I can recommend someone great. Repair or replace even the smallest items such as batteries in your smoke detector and carbon monoxide detector. It's these little things that will convey the message of the home being kept in great condition to potential buyers. So ask yourself, what conditions are your windows in? What conditions are your doors and trim in? Do you have any holes or cracks in the walls? Um, what condition is your plumbing in? You know, replace your furnace filter. Um, have you had any problems with mold or mildew in the past? Is your roof in good condition? Could you use some more maybe insulation in the attic? On day seven, you might wanna consider getting your windows cleaned. I know you probably don't even think about cleaning your windows, but rain, snow, construction can really make windows dirty and bright and shiny is always better. On day eight, focus on the front yard. So curb appeal matters and will significantly impact people's first impression of your house. Stand on your street and take in your front yard. What do you see? At a minimum, clean you know the stuff, scuff marks off your front door and touch up any chipped paint or give it a fresh coat. If your door has seen better days, consider investing in a new one. If you have a front porch, make it look inviting. You know, maybe invest in some seasonal plants, clean up the garden. Um, a lot of what buyers will see your home at night as well. So make sure that your home outdoor lighting is showing off your home to its best potential. I hope you found these tips helpful. For more helpful ways to increase your home's value, don't forget to download a free copy of the 28 Day Guide by visiting the link tree link bio in my Instagram. I wish you all the best as always and we'll chat soon. Take care for now.